Moving on to Glob and Exodus. So we got Glob hanging out with all the other mutants on Genosha, and then this guy, Robert Herman, has see-through skin, kind of like living wax, and means you can totally see his bones all the time. No wonder he's easy to pick out in a crowd. Back in the day, Glob was actually part of this group called the New Mutants. Next, there is a blink and you'll miss it background character named Exodus. In the comics, his real name is Bennett du Paris, and he's got a pretty cool power. The more people believe in him, the stronger his telekinetic and telepathic abilities get. Plus, he can teleport himself around too. Back in the day, Exodus worked for the villain Apocalypse, but lately he's been hanging out with Magneto and in the comics, he even followed a young mutant named Hope Summers for a while, thinking she was super important. Now let's talk about Magneto and Rogue. Make everyone like you, and then take over? This was Xavier's design. Do you remember all those hints about Rogue and Magneto in X-Men 97? Well, episode 5 finally spills the tea, thank you! It turns out that Rogue has a past with the villainous Magneto. Just like in the comics, Rogue met Magneto before joining the X-Men, even hanging out with his bad guy crew, the Brother of Mutants, for a bit. Things got interesting, though, because Rogue and Mutant actually, like... <laughs> They hooked up, it's like, whoa. Here's the crazy part, Magneto's magnetic powers act like a shield, protecting him from Rogue's absorption power. So, guess what? They could actually touch! And that led to a short-lived romance, but hey, at least they could cuddle without any weird power stuff happening, so that was cool. Now moving on to Uatu the Watcher. Oh no, things just got interesting for X-Men fans here. In the latest episode of X-Men 97, during that big event on Genosha, you might have missed a teeny tiny detail in the background. If you look real close, you can actually see the outline of the Watcher, that big cosmic dude who observes everything. I love these little winks that are there in the world of X-Men 97. Now it might be connected to the same giant universe as all the other Marvel movies and shows. You know the ones with Iron Man and Captain America. Now wouldn't that be awesome right? Imagine Wolverine teaming up with a what if version of Doctor Strange. <laughs> now here's hoping we see a real crossover between these two animated shows someday. That would be epic! 